this video we'll take a look at installing the LAMP server on the Ubuntu operating system. The LAMP stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Linux being the operating system that the web server is running on, Apache being the web server that we're actually using, MySQL being the database that we can use to tie in to our web page to make it a dynamic web page, as well as PHP which is the backend server scripting language that uh, will be turned on as well for us to use on our websites. So we're going to go ahead and install this package on our Ubuntu operating system. To start with, we'll go up to Applications, Accessories, the Terminal. And once we open up the terminal, we're going to need to run this as the root user. And in Ubuntu, you have to type in sudo. Uh, some of the other Linux operating systems, you do not need to use a sudo. You just have to be the root user. However, in Linux, uh, for Ubuntu's Linux, we need to be the sudo, uh, we're running the sudo command to run as our root user, so sudo. And then we're going to go ahead and use the app get application. We're going to tell it to install. And then what we're going to install is the lamp. And then we're going to use the dash server. And the last thing I want to type in is the caret, which is the shift six on most keyboards. And once we've got that, we're going to go ahead and hit enter. And then what we need to do is type in the password that we have installed for our root user, which is usually the first user that's installed on the Ubuntu operating system. Type that password in, hit enter, and we're going to go through and we're going to wait for it to install. You're going to get to this option here that says, do you want to continue? And if you read through these packages, you're going to see what it's going to install. And so we're going to go ahead and say yes with a Y, press enter, and it's going to go ahead and connect and download the packages that we need and it's going to install the packages we need. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video now and when I get prompted I'll resume the video. After about two to three minutes you're going to be prompted with the MySQL password. Uh, if you read this, this is while not mandatory, it's highly recommended that you set a password for the MySQL administrator root user. You do want to set a password for this and uh, it should be a password you don't forget when you want to modify the uh, MySQL interface uh, settings, you're going to want to have this password uh, whenever you connect a database uh, to your website. You want to know this. So we're going to go ahead and type a password in. And we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And we're going to go ahead and repeat the password just to make sure we have the same password that we want and it's going to go ahead and finish through installing our packages and while it's installing I'm going to go ahead and pause the video until it is prompted again Alright, a few minutes has passed since I entered the password for my MySQL administrative user. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is test to make sure, once you see the command prompt up here again where it says uh, your name and your computer name, we're going to go ahead and type in just a quick command, netstat, and then what we're going to do, uh, we're going to use the T, U, L, P, and N switch or argument uh, with this command just to see what ports we have currently running. What you're really looking for is this port 80 uh, and that's going to let me know that my computer is running as a web server at the moment. It is listening on port 80 which is where the web traffic is going to be coming in on my computer. We can also do a quick test to make sure that our computer is running as a web server by opening up our internet browser which in this case is Firefox by default here on Ubuntu and once this starts up, we're going to go ahead and type in, and I'll go ahead and stop this here. I'm going to go ahead and type in localhost and hit enter. And uh, this is going to be our loopback to our computer, which is going to let us know that we do have a web server running. This is our current web page at the moment. You may also try the 127.0.0.1. Uh, this is the address that we can also use 
to come back to our computer and view the web page that our computer is currently displaying. Alright, in this video we...